Really fit it. But now we're reaching the end. Finally. Now where did Zoroff get to? You! You defeated the lizards! Removed the nails! The Maquis chose you well! Now, show me what you're made of, Tree Walker! Jerry, defend yourself! Ho ho! When two spells of the same kind clash, they will create great mad. Try to take advantage. Ha ha! I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. The magician is ready to do what Watch out! I don't understand what I'm supposed to be doing here. Um. When two spells of the same kind clash, try to take advantage of How do I beat him? Uh, I, I I don't. <laughs> um. Try to take advantage and do what? The magician is ready to do. Watch out! I, I'm not following. Oh. oh. Excellent. You repelled his spell with a nail and rendered it harmless. Zaroff lost one of his spells. Oh, okay. So that's what we do. You repelled his spell with a nail and rendered it harmless. Zaroff has only two spells left now. He has the Rock Whisper. Oh, fight me, Zaroth. Baradur.
Yeah. Excellent. Now Zaroff has Oh, Marquis coming back. Can you see a shadow? And then the first nail. Mm-hmm, Shimon. And he loses all of the spells. You. You took everything I had. For this I shall... You, it is you. <laughs> what the heck? You did it, Jerry. Zaroff used his magic against you and lost. I didn't mean to do it. Not like this. Marquis, are you? He's still too weak. He cannot answer you. Oh man. Who, who, who's the boy? Where did he come from? The tree. It remembers. It remembers the teacher and the apprentice who once visited this place. Zaroff did evil things. That's why he cannot look the child he once was in the eye. But who among us could, after all? Who is he? What does all this mean? Oh, video time. The Great Zaroff. One of the greatest illusionists of his time. You may have heard of him. Not many remember him now. In reality, he wasn't just an illusionist. He was one of us. A magician. Zaroff was the last apprentice of the Marquis de Hoto. When the rabbit trained him, he was just a boy, not much older than you. When his training was finished, young Zaroff and his teacher visited the clearing of the first tree, and they left some traces behind. The tree would remember them. Soon, the Marquis and Zaroff became living legends as they hurried from one world to the next, from portal to portal, and help wherever help was needed. They were true tree walkers, but their path led them to a place where darkness ingrained upon their souls. I was there when the mirror of shadows disclosed to them their own potential. They beheld their own brightest virtues and saw the darkest chasms within their souls. And only few can bear that kind of truth. So it was only a matter of time until the dark seed sprouted within them. And when it did, the Marquis was the first to start doubting the ideals of the tree walkers. Then the apprentice started doubting the teacher. And finally, the two of them turned on each other in hatred. In his blind wrath, the Marquis banished his apprentice to the world from whence he came. He took away his ability to walk between worlds, so that every portal would remain closed to him. Zaroff became a prisoner in his own world. A world that had room for magic only on its stages. Thus, he became the great Zaroff, the illusionist. But the appeal of the new tricks he invented to captivate his audience soon wore off. And Zaroff fell for a second time. 
Maroon. Forgotten. In his despair, he began to rattle the doors of his reality. He turned to alchemy, forbidden experiments, to open up the portal worlds once again. And with every failed experiment grew the hatred for his teacher and for his audience that no longer cared for him. And when Zaroff was finally driven by nothing other than fury and revenge, something answered to his rattling and knocking. Consortium Squamata. The Lizards. With its false promises, the Consortium had already passed through many worlds. Promises that would disturb the balance of nature. Zaroff was approached by four members of the Consortium. They offered the magician a deal. The lizards had surreptitiously obtained the ability to walk between worlds, but they didn't know the way to the most secret of places. Zaroff, on the other hand, had memorized the paths of the tree walkers, the portals, the path to the clearing of the first tree. Thus, he led the lizards through the portals, betraying the tree walker he had once been with every step of the way. In exchange, they gave him the power to cast a curse on one of the first trees. The lizards gave Zaroff four nails. Four nails made of four cursed metals, serving to drive the magician's spell deep into the trunk of the first tree where it would take effect and make the inhabitants of the portal worlds his final audience, thus trying to obtain respect and glory by force. Zaroff's final great triumph. And while the portal worlds were suffering from the curse of Zaroff, the lizards invaded them, as they had done many times before. Only one could have provided help. But Zarov's mentor, the Marquis de Hoto, had spiraled himself further into the darkness that the Mirror of Shadows had revealed to him. The Cold One! He was willing to let us freeze to death. The good tree walker who had trained Zarov. I had already given up hope I would ever meet him again. But when Zarov entered the clearing, the first tree remembered the magicians. When it recognized the threat that the apprentice posed, the first tree brought to life and sent out the memory of his teacher. So, the memory of the Marquis de Hoto, shaped long before his own corruption set in, left the clearing of the first tree and promptly forgot that it was nothing but a memory. And once again, he was a true tree walker. He set forth to find himself an apprentice, somebody who would be able to stop Zaroff. He answered your call. The roots of the first tree run deep, even into our dreams. The Marquis found you, Jerry, because you had a dream. Off now. This place might be his only salvation. Wow. He will remain in the shadow of the first tree. Now everything the Marquis, makes sense. The first tree, they were right. You went beyond yourself. That's how you finally got to this place and faced down Zaroff. The Marquis made you a true tree walker, but you were forced to pay a high price. When the Marquis went from idea to reality by entering your world, Something else had to go. Your father, oh. as though through a revolving door, the Marquis came to life, and your father was lost in the rift between worlds and forgotten. But do not worry. You saved us all, and very soon we will return the favor. Wow, okay. 
So it makes sense now. An acquaintance of mine once said, only those who get on the way can find their way. And so it came to pass that Jerry had to leave his mentor behind in the clearing of the first tree. Jerry knew that he had been more than the memory of a courageous, one-of-a-kind tree walker, more than the first tree of mousewood needing Jerry's help. He had been a friend. Then, for the last time, the Marquis slowly turned and lifted his hand as if to wave goodbye. I, I, I will never forget you, said Jeremiah Hazelnut. And I, I will never forget you, came the reply from the shadows at the foot of the tree. And the boy knew, the Marquis, the tree, he would remember him. When Jerry returned to Mousewood, lost in thought, there was music in the streets. Because for the first time in a long while, an apprentice had come to Mousewood to study the art of arts. And for the first time in a long while, the treetop festival, the celebration of friendship and courage, was held in honor of an apprentice who had finished his training. In honor of the tree walker, Jeremiah Hazelnut, the Rabbit's Apprentice. Hmm. Oh, uh, I guess it's gonna lag out here a little bit. Hmm. So, I will give you all my final thoughts as I will end the episode here. What do I think of the game overall? I give it about a in my, just in my experience, I give it a 6.3. And that's only because uh, I'm not used to these sort of games. They're not my forte, per se. Um, the story itself get, definitely gets an 8.7. Uh, I think the story, the beginning was really slow. You didn't quite get it. There was a couple parts in it where you just didn't understand. And I think that some of the missions are really silly and out there, but that's just how the game was supposed to be silly and out there um it was something a little bit different a little maybe a little childish in my opinion but uh i think it turned out the story turned out to be the ending i think was amazing just in my opinion um i i, I was kind of right but the details that made it even better for me um would i recommend it to anyone um if you're really hardcore and, it, and, you're, and you're fine with trying something new, absolutely. Um, I think I think you guys would enjoy it, but it depends on what kind of, like I said, what kind of gamer you are. If you're more of a mainstream person, more into Pokemon, Call of Duty, games like that, just whatever everyone else is into, then I don't think it, this is the game for you. But I do think that it is something to try. Um, a lot of you, uh, a lot of my subscribers, and a lot of people watch the, these watch these videos. You guys, um, you guys like, you guys are playing it or are currently playing it. You could figure stuff out. Um, like I said, uh, this is like it, like it, this is how it was when I fell with Outlast. Because uh, this is the first, this is the first time I've ever tried to play a point-click adventure game on my channel. Uh, so it's something new. Uh, would I play another one? Yes. Maybe one that's not as long and not as, well, I think maybe they're all quite puzzly like this. Such as, um... Uh, oh, I thought that was funny. It said Church Mouse Jr. and uh, whatever fate Ursula the Owl was as themselves because I don't think they talk. But um, anyway, this like I said, I, th I think it. I think I, I give it a six point five. I mean, it, 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 I don't think it can. You should put it in this. I don't think you could put it in the same league as uh, all those mainstream games. I think it's in its own. Uh, there's a couple of classic games like Steam games. Um. I will be starting a Steam game after this is finished. Uh, I don't know which one it is. I have a couple I wanted to do, but I don't know which one I'm going to start off with. But it's it's going to be it's going to be fun. So anyway, Weird Al was in this. Weird Al Yankovic. That's funny, huh? But yeah, um, it's a fun game. So give it a shot if you guys want to. Oh, you can walk around and talk to people. Mr. Spitzbank, what are you doing here? Well, I heard that in your honor they were holding the treetop festival up. 
So, Nap, you must. And you tell me about yours. Oh? Um. So you can talk to everyone. I probably won't. Uh, for the sake of, uh. I think the, I think the one part is kind of sad. How uh, well, the Marquis and basically Zara became enemies. Just I, th I think they could make a number two out of this. Just saying. I don't think I can save it either. But anyway. Whatever. But yeah, so uh, everyone's here, of course. <laughs> So, uh, I think this, I don't think I can do anything. I can't, it won't let me escape. So, uh, I'm gonna end it here. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, continue watching the other series. Uh, leave any suggestions. I got a couple Steam games that I've been playing. If you guys think I should try something else, uh, I'll be sure to put that into consideration. And, uh, hope you guys have a nice rest of your day. Sorry guys, apparently I can go home. So, <laughs> I was trying to figure out. Uh, oh, yes, yes, I'm ready. I'm ready. Sorry. I'm going to I just want to include you. this. Because I guess there's a little more to the game here. My father, my mother, will they be back? They already are. I wanted to make sure I included this. Oh, <gasps> Kitsune! And the dog. The dad was walking the Terry? dog. We've been waiting for you for an hour. I've had to stop your dad from eating the entire black meat pie himself. I was hungry. I feel like I've been on my legs forever. Me too. Please, like, I didn't own a dog. Soon it leaves. No wonder I didn't see her at the treetop festival. And that's all Jeremiah could say. The fox girl still claims that he cried. That's so not true. <laughs> Thus Jeremiah Hazelnut returned home, and thus ends our story. No chance for a sequel then, eh? Oh! <gasps> but with every ending, other stories begin. They are oh, yeah, like old waves in the ocean, always in motion, spilling over and intertwining. Some stories tell of huge problems we create for others that can barely be solved, even with courage. Especially when you're nothing but a tiny mouse. But perhaps someone is going to step up. Hmm. And then there are scary tales as well. What is Secret, going on? Forbidden ones that you can only tell behind closed doors. <sighs> are you suddenly cold, too? No. What? Who? Who was that boy? My friend's apprentice. Thank you for helping him. He broke Zaroff's curse. Sorry, it's really I laggy. I underestimated Zaroff. And that boy, too. Dang it. Will you finally free me from this prison so that I may once again protect the portal <gasps> worlds? This kind of thing must never happen again. You know that this is impossible, old friend. Super laggy. Who is it? It's the Marquis. Yes, I knew it. <gasps> what the heck? This game just took a turn for the crazy. He has a freaking eye patch. He must have turned evil or something.
Did anyone else find that that game? Okay, that ending super crazy. Oh my gosh. Anyway, I'm not gonna explain what just happened. That's basically the real marquee. The other marquee was not a fake. It was just a memory. That when he before, but then he turned it turned evil and succumbed to the darkness. Blah blah blah. Stuff like that. That's where we were then. Which is insane. So there might be a number two. Maybe a sequel. Who knows. Data Luke did a great job, I think. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have the rest of your day.